Howdy folks, Moose here. Long overdue video on the Z7200 2.8. It's not really a user report, it's not really a review. It's just, how does this fit in my bag and why did I add it to my kit? That question has been coming in quite a bit since I've been shooting with it. And a blog post just isn't long enough to explain it all. So first and foremost, it's a gorgeous lens. It's incredibly sharp. The vignetting, it's gone. I've shot all these from 80 to 200 f4.5 back in the day to the original uh, 80 to 200 2.8 with the 95 mil front element. I've shot them all. This is by far the best, the grandest of them. I love this lens. It's incredibly sharp. With that said, why have I added to the kit? Because for years, I've been shooting with a 7200 f4. Still have it, still use it. What's the deal? Well, I think that's more important than just saying this is a great lens, go buy it, because that doesn't really help you. Now, this lens, the 7200Z, okay, it's an FX lens, but it goes on the mirrorless bodies. Doesn't fit like the D6, my primary body. The 7200 f4 FX lens works on the D6 and works on the Z with the F to Z. Why the two? Well, what I've got here is what you're gonna see me using when I shoot my air-to-air -air work. The balance between these two, in other words, this three pound lens and the Z6 II with the grip, the balance is just gorgeous. At the same time, the balance of the D6 with the 7200 F4 is outstanding as well. Why would I have this and that? Why am I duplicating what's F4, F2.8? A couple things. The 7200 F4 closes down to F32. If I'm photographing multiple aircraft, that extra stop of depth of focus can make a difference. If I'm photographing just, photographing just one aircraft, not so important. The weight, okay? The D6, the 7200 F4, nice weighty system to sit there and use in a plane. Lightweight doesn't work. So for example, if I use the 7200 F4 on the Z6, it's so physically white, uh, light that for me to hand hold it, I'm just exhausted after a half an hour. So this rig is the same basic weight as the D6 7200 F4. Okay, so that works perfectly. This focus as just as about as fast as the D6, has the same basic buffer as the D6. So again, why have I gone to this? It's real simple, video. If I wanna shoot video with the Z6 II, I put my eye to the camera and I can shoot video. Looking right through here, looking through the lens. With the D6, can't do that. There's a mirror in there. I'd have to hold the camera out like this, look at the monitor to shoot that video, and then I'm not using proper hand-holding technique. And in a plane, there's lots of buffering. That combination, this makes this a really great rig for those air-to-air -air unit uh, shoots when I want to shoot video. That's one reason why I got this lens. Another reason, at 200 millimeter, at 2.8, the depth of focus is really narrow. For a personal project I'm working on, I want that narrow depth of focus. Now this lens, the Z7200 2.8, like I mentioned, it's three pounds. It's not lightweight. 77 front element, just like it had. But one thing that's really very amazing is you can put the 1.4 tel converter on this lens. You'll see zero, absolutely zero change in the sharpness. You'll get no vignetting. This performance is spectacular. So you have 280 millimeter F4 with a working depth of focus of about a little bit over 3.1. That's really narrow and it's just magnificent. At 200 millimeters, it focuses down to just over three feet. At 70 millimeters, it's just over one foot. That's a, it's the smallest uh, working minimum focus distance of any 7200 that Nikon's ever come out with. So it's all those things combined is why I put this in the bag. And the results, well, you can see what I've gotten so far with it from photographing waves, to photographing coyotes, to one of my favorite subjects with this, Maggie. 
So the Z7200 2.8, you're not going to save any money. You're not going to save any weight. You are going to gain some sharpness. And if you're looking for a great combination, the Z7200 2.8 on the Z62 is a killer setup. So there you go. That's why I added this lens happily to my kit.